वेलकम टू आ ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस पार्ट वन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बीजी एट वर्क आ इंटरनल ऑर्गन यू ऑल नो वी नीड एयर वाटर एंड फूड टू लीव वी नीड एयर फॉर रेस्पिरेशन इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर बॉडी टू गेट कंटिन्यूसली सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द एयर वी गेट दिस ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द एयर थ्रू ब्रीथिंग दैट इज वाई वी ब्रीथ कंटिन्यूसली वेन वी आर सीटिंग कंफर्टेबली वी ब्रीथ approximately 20 to 22 times in a minute that means we breathe approximately 200 times in an hour we breathe around the same number of times when we are around sleep however after running 100 meter our breathing increase and we breathe approximately 40 to 45 times per minute the organs that carry out the function of respiration in our body are the nose windpipe trachea lungs alveoli and the diaphragm this are called as a respiratory organs the respiratory system begins with the nose when we inhale the air that we take through the nose enter the trachea the air then enter the lungs through the two branches of trachea inside the lungs this two branches divide further into smaller and smaller branches at the end of each of the branches there is a small air sac this air sacs are called as a alveoli There is a flexible sheet like organs placed in the chest cavity between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity the diaphragm continuously moves up and down the diaphragm moves downward we breathe in and the incoming air fills the alveoli in the lungs when the diaphragm moves upward the air in the lungs is pushed out when the outside air reaches the alveoli the oxygen in it passes into the thin blood vessel around the alveoli and with the blood it flows to all the parts of the body through the use of oxygen carbon dioxide gas is produced which is not useful for the body along with the blood it enters the lungs and mix with the air present in the alveoli during exhalation it is given out from the body in this way the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide gas take place in the alveoli the air in the atmosphere may contain dust and smoke particles they may even be disease producing microorganism they are harmful for the body the inner lining of the nose has a thin hair like structure called cilia the air get filtered to it there is a layer of a sticky substance called mucus the dust and smoke particles present in the air stick to the mucus thus the harmful substances in the air cannot reach the lungs nowadays we see that the incident of smoking has increased a lot let us see what could be the effect of smoking we know the lungs is important organs of the respiration so in our next video we are going to study about effect of smoking thank you